Welcome to another Mac OS G video tutorial. The subject of this tutorial will be Fontbook, a utility included with Mac OS X 10.3 or later. Fontbook is a utility for managing and maintaining the fonts on your Macintosh computer. It gives you the ability to enable or disable fonts. It also gives you the ability to create sets of fonts called collections, create libraries consisting of different collections, validate fonts or font files for inconsistencies, or remove duplicate fonts installed on your system. The font book display consists of three columns, the collection column, the font column, and the preview area. The collection column is split up into two areas. The top area shows where the fonts are located on your system, and the lower area shows the collections of fonts you currently have installed. The All Fonts item shows all of the fonts installed on your computer. The User item shows the fonts that are installed in your User Library Fonts folder, and the Computer shows all of the fonts that are installed in your Library Fonts folder. If you have Classic installed on your system, you will also see a Classic item. Those fonts are installed in the System folder, Fonts folder. Collections contain fonts that have a relationship with each other. Web contains fonts that are the default for most web browsers. The Fun Collection contains fonts that are cartoon style fonts. The next column is the Font column. This column shows the fonts included in your selection on the left. They are organized by font family. The little arrows to the left of the font name allow you to expand the family to show all the different faces included. When you click on the face name, it gives you a preview in the preview pane. The last column is the preview pane itself. This area has the most versatile use of all the columns. When you select a font family on the right, a sample will show in the preview pane. You can select from the size menu or use the slider on the right of the pane to adjust the size of the preview itself. Fontbook allows you to specify the location where you would like Fontbook to install your fonts. To set this preference, you go to the Preferences in Fontbook. You will see a default install location item. User will install the fonts in your User Library Fonts folder, whereas Computer will install the fonts in your Library Fonts folder. Fontbook validates fonts before it installs them. If you prefer to have it skip this step, you can uncheck the Validate Fonts Before Installing box. The first item in the file menu is Add Fonts. You can use this item to add fonts to your computer. The next item, Remove, allows you to remove fonts or font faces from font book. The Validate Font allows you to check your fonts for inconsistencies or damaged fonts. The Validate File allows you to validate a font file prior to installing it in font book. Save Report is only available when you have a validation dialog open and allows you to save the results from your validation. The New Collection item allows you to create a new collection of fonts in Font Library. New Library allows you to create a new library inside Fontbook. Delete will delete the currently selected font in your Fontbook list. Export Collection will export the fonts that you have selected to an external location. Show Font File will actually show you where the font file is located on your system. Besides the standard items Cut, Copy, Paste, and Undo in the Edit menu, you have the Disable Font, Disable Family items, which disables fonts and families, the Disable use, User item, which disables the whole library, the Resolve Duplicates, which allows you to resolve duplicates on your system, the Find option is a fast and efficient way to find fonts or individual faces in your font book, the Special Characters brings up your standard system character palette from within Fontbook. The Preview menu contains all the different views you have available to you in the Preview pane of Fontbook. The default is Sample, which gives you a basic sample of the selected font or face in the font column. The second item in this menu is Repertoire. Selecting this will give you a character listing of all characters in the selected font face. The third item in the preview menu is custom. If you would like to see what a specific sentence or phrase looks like in different fonts, 
You can type a custom sentence in the preview pane and it will change when you select different font. The next item is Show Font Info. When you click Show Font Info, it lists all the information regarding that font. It shows the location of the font, the version number, the languages it's available in, and whether it's enabled or if it's a duplicate. This comes in handy when doing font management. The Window menu lists all windows currently open in Fontbook and allows you to switch back and forth readily. The Help menu will bring up the Apple Help system. You can tell when you have duplicate fonts by the little black dot to the right of the font name in the font list. By clicking on the arrow to the left of the font name, you will be able to see what font faces and which ones are duplicated. By switching to Show Font Info in the preview menu, we can see where the duplicates are located. We can see that I have the same font in my library fonts as well as my user library fonts. By selecting the font family with the duplicates and choosing Resolve Duplicates, you will see that it disables one of the fonts so that only one font is active at a time. You can select multiple fonts and resolve the duplicates all at once. Just select the multiple fonts that have duplicates and pull down to Resolve Duplicates. To remove a font from your system using Fontbook, you highlight the font you want to remove and select Remove from the File menu. This will actually move the file to the trash. You can also right-click or control-click on the font and remove it using the contextual menu. You can add fonts just by double-clicking the font face in the Finder. It will open a preview dialog. In the preview dialog, you click Install Font. It will bring up Fontbook and install the font for you. You can also install fonts by choosing the Add Fonts from the File menu. Another method for installing fonts is by clicking the plus in the lower corner of the font column. Select the font you would like to add, and it will automatically import that into Fontbook for you. You can create a new collection by going to the File menu and clicking New Collection, or you can click the plus in the bottom left corner of the Collection column. You name the collection, select the fonts that you would like to add to that collection from your font list on the left. Once you have all of the fonts that you would like to add to that collection, you just simply drag and drop them into that collection, and it adds those fonts to the collection. To remove the collection, you select the collection you'd like to remove, go to the File menu, and choose Delete to delete that specific collection. You can't print a font catalog directly from within Fontbook, but Apple has included some sample AppleScript scripts that make this easy. They're available in the application's AppleScript example scripts font book. I have created a version of this script that allows you to enter a custom sentence and have the sample print out your custom sentence. The link to this program will be available in the show notes for this tutorial at podcast.macosg.com. To print a font catalog, you simply open font book and select the fonts you would like to have printed. Enter your sentence into the dialog box that comes up from the font sample program and click create. It will open text edit and create a document with examples from all the font faces you had selected in font book. You can then print the document created by text edit and have a font catalog of the fonts installed on your system.